off they go. Isn't that lovely? Naughty little things. They are very cute, our little hyena cubs. Just, just keeping ahead of mom, rushing about. Let's move a little bit further down the road. Now, as I said, the parasites are one thing that can cause hyenas to leave their den. Uh, another thing that doesn't happen as often is really, really heavy rain um, can sometimes flood hyena dens. And it is always awesome to spend time with little hyenas. They are so much fun. Bori says she just wants to hug them. Um, I think that you might get a few fleas if you did. They are quite smelly critters. And uh, <laughs> Uh, not only the fleas, you might get some um, tapeworms, some liver flukes, and all sorts of horrible things um, that hyenas are mostly immune to. Hey, little guys. Leslie says, I love the movement when they run. They do have an awesome run, that loping gait. Climbing up the termite mount. Okay, let's turn around. Dory's wondering, is mom taking them to a meal? I don't think so. I think she's, oh, oh bumpy, bumpy. I think she's just uh, giving them a, oh, they've gone off wondering and she might, or she might be moving dens. Um, or they might have followed her away from the den and she's taking them back. Now, I've actually had some fun with this particular clan. Um, some of the older cubs got very, very inquisitive and have come right up to the vehicle. Hey, guys. Are you going to come be inquisitive? Danielle says the cubs have bottle brush tails. Uh, yeah, they, they do have the sweetest little tails, especially when they're excited and they pop their tails up. Off they go again. Those old rascals. With the wind, with the wind blowing quite strongly, you can't hear some of the sounds that these little guys are making. Here they come, the curiosity. This is what I do love with the little ones. They're coming close to us. They're these little high-pitched whines that they're making between each other while they're playing. Moo says, I'm still trying to like hyenas. Well, Moo, what's not to love about hyenas? They are incredibly awesome creatures. Hey, little guys. <laughs> These guys are about, probably about three months, three and a half months old. Natural says hyenas and baboons are in the same category for me. Well, what's that category? Awesome, interesting. Um, they are incredibly fascinating creatures, both hyenas and baboons. Here we go. This is my favorite when they start getting brave. Hello, little guys. So they're probably no more than oh, about four or five meters from the car now. And sometimes they come right so close to the car that you can't. Oh, yeah, they're coming. They're coming in again. Hey, guys. Aren't you brave?
Joe says, they are so curious. Indeed they are, Joe. But if the adult wasn't around, they wouldn't be nearly this brave. They would dash for a hole in the ground. I think they're being escorted back to the den and being told to go to sleep. Enough of this playing and chasing each other around. It's getting late. Sizel would like to know how resilient are hyenas to the different types of diseases? Incredibly resilient. Um, being carrion eaters, they're exposed to lots of different things, um, but they are very, very resilient to disease.